they told you who I am? You are the man who is going to die. In the world of cinema, there are iconic films that stamp themselves into our memories like ancient artifacts waiting to be discovered. One such cinematic masterpiece is the 2000 epic historical drama, Gladiator, directed by Ridley Scott. For years, fans have been yearning for a sequel, craving more epic battles, gripping drama, and timeless storytelling. Well folks, the moment is upon us, and Gladiator 2 is real. Imagine stepping back into the sands of the Colosseum, where honor and blood once clashed in a battle for the ages. Gladiator 2 promises to transport us to ancient Rome, but it's not merely a rehash of the original tale. The sequel dares to dive deeper into the annals of history, unveiling a story set 30 years after Maximus's heroic sacrifice. The burning question on every fan's mind is, will Maximus return? Russell Crowe, who became a Hollywood legend through his portrayal of Maximus, has shed light on this enigma. The answer is both heartbreaking and intriguing. Maximus, the indomitable gladiator, will not grace our screens once more. His fate was sealed in the sands of the arena. However, his spirit lingers in the sequel, shaping the destiny of a new generation. Our journey in Gladiator 2 centers around Lucius, a character who tugged at our heartstrings in the original film. Remember the young boy who idolized Maximus and ignited the iconic, my name is Maximus Decimus Meridius speech? Well, that young lad has grown into a man and assumed the mantle of the emperor. Lucius, the nephew of Lucia, played once again by Connie Nielsen, embarks on a path filled with intrigue, politics, and the weight of an empire. It's a role that promises to be both challenging and enthralling. But wait, there's more. While Maximus may not return, some beloved characters from the original Gladiator will make a triumphant comeback. Jumon Honsu's Juba, the freed Roman gladiator, will once again grace the screen. His unwavering loyalty and camaraderie with Maximus left an indelible mark on our hearts. Derek Jacoby's Senator Gracchus also returns, adding depth and gravitas to the sequel. These legacy characters provide a bridge between the old and new reminding us of the rich history of Gladiator. But Gladiator 2 isn't just about nostalgia. It's about introducing fresh faces and untold stories. Paul Mescal, known for his brilliant performance in After Sun, takes on the major role of Lucius. His journey from an adoring child to the throne carries the weight of history. Joining this ensemble is the charismatic Pedro Pascal, renowned for his role as Oberyn Martell in Game of Thrones. Pascal's addition to the cast raises questions about the character he'll portray. Is he a friend or foe to the young Emperor Lucius. As we delve into the sequel's plot, it becomes clear that Gladiator 2 is not a simple retread of past glory. But what kind of ruler will he become? Meanwhile, Barry Kogan's potential role as Emperor Geta adds another layer of complexity. The tension between these emperors promises a gripping narrative that could rival the grandeur of the original. Hold on to your seats, folks, because Denzel Washington himself is joining the Gladiator 2 cast. The actor, known for his dynamic performances, is thrilled about his badass role in the film. What character is Ridley Scott penned for the legendary actor? This mystery alone is worth the price of admission. To create a sequel worthy of the original masterpiece, we need a maestro behind the camera. Thankfully, we have Ridley Scott returning as the director. Scott's knack for transforming historical settings into immersive cinematic experiences is unparalleled. From Kingdom of Heaven to Exodus, he's proven time and again that he's a master of epic storytelling. As we eagerly await Gladiator 2, one can't help but marvel at Scott's dedication. At the age of 85, he's not slowing down. In fact, he's diving headfirst into another colossal historical epic after completing Napoleon. It's a testament to his enduring passion for storytelling. A crucial element of any great film is its screenplay and Gladiator 2 is no exception. David Scarpa, known for his work on All the Money in the World and Napoleon, takes on the challenge of crafting a narrative that lives up to the original's legacy. In the world of filmmaking, collaboration is key. Ridley Scott has assembled a team of talented individuals who share his vision for Gladiator 2. Arthur Max, Scott's long-term production manager, returns to recreate the awe-inspiring world of ancient Rome. His attention to detail and dedication to historical accuracy ensure that every scene is a visual spectacle. Costume designer Janty Yates, an Oscar winner for the first Gladiator, once again lends her expertise. Her ability to transport us to a bygone era through fabric and design is truly remarkable. Neil Corbold, Scott's special effects supervisor since the original Gladiator, oversees the film's visual magic. His mastery of practical effects promises to deliver breathtaking sequences that rival the grandeur of the Colosseum itself. Music has the power to elevate a film from good to unforgettable. 
and Gladiator 2 has some big shoes to fill in this department. The original film score, composed by Hans Zimmer, is an iconic masterpiece that echoes in our hearts. While Zimmer's return is uncertain, other maestros stand ready. Could it be Martin Phipps, who follows Scott from Napoleon to Gladiator 2? Or perhaps Harry Gregson Williams, known for his work with both Ridley and Tony Scott? Whoever takes the helm, the soundtrack will undoubtedly stir our souls. Every epic journey faces its share of challenges, and Gladiator 2 is no exception. The original film was a DreamWorks production, but the sequel finds its home at Paramount. Universal, the international distributor of the first film, retained the option to be involved, creating potential studio complexities. Streaming platforms also lurk on the horizon. With the success of digital releases, Gladiator 2 could venture into the realm of streaming. Will Paramount secure its rights? The studio wranglings add an extra layer of intrigue to the sequel's fate. A journey filled with ambition, it's not without its setbacks. Gladiator 2 was slated for release on November 22, 2024, aiming to capture the magic of Oscar season once again. However, production hurdles have cast doubt on this date. An on-set fire during a stunt in Monaco injured crew members, leading to delays. Additionally, a strike by SAG-AFTRA and WGA created further complications. Until these issues are resolved, the release date remains uncertain. Every great story has its legacy, and Gladiator 2 is no exception. While Russell Crowe's Maximus may not return, some familiar faces will grace the screen again. Connie Nielsen reprises her role as Lucia, Maximus's former lover and mother to Lucius. Jimon Honsu, who portrayed the loyal guardian Juba, also returns, reminding us of the unbreakable bonds forged in the Colosseum. They serve as a link to the original epic, reassuring fans that the spirit of Gladiator lives on. The heart of Gladiator 2 lies in the hands of Paul Mescal, who steps into the role of Lucius, Lucius' son. The young boy we once saw enamored by Maximus has now grown into a man faced with the daunting task of becoming an emperor. The torch has been passed, and Lucius must navigate the treacherous waters of power and politics. Joseph Quinn, known for his breakout role in Stranger Things 4, takes on the role of Emperor Caracalla. Caracalla's legacy in history is one of tyranny and turmoil. As he and Lucius cross paths, a clash of ambitions is inevitable. Will Lucius be able to fulfill his destiny? or will the shadows of power consume him? One of the most captivating mysteries of Gladiator 2 lies in the character portrayed by Denzel Washington. The actor himself described it as a badass role, sparking intrigue among fans. What role does he play in this grand saga? Is he a friend or foe to Lucius and the legacy of Maximus? Gladiator 2 boasts an ensemble cast that promises to deliver stellar performances. May Kalamawi, Leo Raz, Peter Mensa, and Matt Lucas join the ranks of this cinematic spectacle. Fred Heckin who plays Caracalla's younger brother, adds another layer to the power struggle within the Roman Empire. Unfortunately, despite initial discussions, Barry Cogan will not appear in the film. While his absence is felt, the remaining cast members ensure that the sequel's narrative remains rich and captivating. Our journey through Gladiator 2 would be incomplete without addressing the continued uncertainty surrounding its release date. As of now, the release date remains a question mark. Will Gladiator 2 grace the silver screen as anticipated, or will fans have to wait longer to witness the epic spectacle. The path ahead is still obscured, leaving us with bated breath. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the making of Gladiator 2. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with fellow enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on upcoming films like Gladiator 2.